Testing, testing. So am I looking right into the camera? So the camera is actually here. Here. Or you can look right in there too. At yourself is okay. actually good. Okay. Wait. Okay, let me test it. Look at yourself. And now look into the camera. Hmm. Hi everyone! Hello. Welcome back to another episode of Colleen Hobson Makeup. Today I have a very special guest, Ms. Omdi Marino Lo. Omdi is my best good friend since third grade? Third grade. Since third grade. So today's video is going to be all about in your makeup starter kit based on what I think because I know a lot of YouTubers out there say different things. In the second part of the video, I'll be using all the products to do a beautiful fall makeup look on Omdi. So be sure to watch the entire video and let's get started. I've been using this product for three years. It's a um, drugstore product. It, so far, it's worked for me. It's great in controlling oil because I am a combination oily girl. And I use it once in the morning and once at night before I go to sleep. Moisturizing not only keeps your skin soft, smooth, but it also helps with aging. So I like to give two options for this one. The first one is a high-end high moisturizer and I got this at Sephora. This is called Drunk Elephant is the brand and it's B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I'll show you right there. So it retails for like 50 bucks, but like guys, this is 50 milliliters of product and like it'll last you a long time because each use is like one pump, maybe two. So this is the, for me, it's the drugstore version of that. And it is the Simple Water Boost Hydrating Gel Cream. And it is one of those gel hybrid gel creams, so it's not completely a cream like those traditional face moisturizer, uh, moisturizers that make you oily. Wine break! Cheers! Cheers! Guys, I'm really sorry. I forgot to talk about like the most, probably the beginning essential part of makeup is a makeup bag. So um, you can get a makeup bag like this. This is like $3 at Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> But um, I like to use these clear ones, clear plastic, because when you have all your makeup in here, you're not like this. You're not like... <laughs> the clear one makes it a lot, your life a lot easier. Especially and if you have kids. Especially if you have kids. And so this is a good bag, but I mean, it doesn't matter. Who cares? It's a makeup bag. Put it in your tetra amal. So guys, next after moisturizing your face is the skin prep. If you want to skip skin prep, I'm totally okay with it, but I'm going to talk about it for those that want to do skin prep. The skin prep product that I chose to buy is the Maybelline Master Prime uh, by Face Studio. And this is a hydrating, smoothing primer. Because Omdi told me that she's more on the dry side, her skin is more on the dry side, so that's why I chose this. But if you are an oily girl like me, you're gonna wanna use like a mattifying primer. And I'm not really sure what brand they sell at the drugstore, but I do use Professional by uh, Benefit Cosmetics. Those primers are good at keeping oils away. So use a primer, especially if you're a foundation girl. The next product, remember these? I used them on Merle. And these are the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion Tinted Moisturizers. So the one I used on Meryl was Medium 903. And the one that I'm going to use on Omdi today, because she's a deeper complexion than Meryl, is the 904 Deep Glow. When you have a wedding to go to, when you have a dinner to go to, when you have um, date night, mm. stuff like that, and you want to look like not yourself <coughs> like there are girls out there a lot of girls a lot of palawan girls that do want to learn about foundation want to learn about what skin type they are what shade they are so we're going to talk about it today if you're a combo dry or dry girl like omdi is you want to look for like keywords in the foundation product okay so like if it says something like dewy smooth maybelline fit me dewy smooth See how it says that? That's your key, but that's for you. You're like Omdi, you're combo dry or you're dry. Okay, if a product says, hmm? 
Pro Matte Mattifying Foundation. Stuff like that. You know, it's for the oily girls, okay? Oh, I really strongly recommend that you do your research online as far as foundations go and um, make sure, not make sure, but like check with stores that have good return policies. Like you can use a foundation and then if you don't like it, you can return it. Okay guys, so the next uh, product and that is essential in your makeup kit, concealer can make you feel like like uh, you have good skin. It can make you feel like you have good skin. I use concealer mainly for my the dark circles under my eyes. Yes. Dark circles. Yes, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so with concealer now, I use Maybelline for drugstore. The best one, in my opinion, is Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And in the natural video, Meryl is the sh um, sand shade number 20. For Omdi today, she's a deeper complexion than Meryl. I'm gonna use medium. Next guys, if you're wearing foundation and concealer, you need a setting powder to set your makeup, especially if you live in climates like Palau and sometimes it gets pretty humid here, right? Yes. So you need a setting powder to like set your makeup and I will do all of this on Omdi in the second half of the video so you guys can see how I apply all this. It's Laura Mercier, but to me, in my opinion, hands down, Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder, you can't beat it. However, however, it is like 40 something dollars or something. So if you're not down for paying that, the NYX HD Studio finishing powder, it's like a loose white powder. It'll work too. The next group of products are called the contour products. So the two cream contours that I'm gonna recommend are from, not two, just one, but in two shades. This one is for my light to medium complexion girls. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick, Contour Stick, in the shade 804A, Oaks on You. Like jokes on you, get it? In, in the same uh, line of products, it's um, Where's Walnut. Where's Walnut? This one I'm gonna use for Omdi today because it's like, a deeper color is the Milani Baked Bronzer. And I used this on Merla um, in the natural makeup tutorial. This is shade number five, Soleil. Soleil, how do you even say that? Is that? Next is highlighter. Highlighter makes you a glowing goddess. Who doesn't love a good highlighter? The highlighter that I recommend is the, Mas the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter and this shade this shade is molten gold but they have other shades and they are just as pigmented just as beautiful and finally in the contour family of products and this is a must i think it's a must i think it's a must i know it's a must it's blush and the one that i recommend again milani is the bomb when it comes to contour products so this is milani baked blush and for omdi today it's rose Oreo. De Oreo. <laughs> I want to say Oreo. Rose de Oreo. Number two. I feel like these are French. Look at how beautiful. Look at how beautiful. Hmm? I'll just swatch it really quick because it's so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, nice. It's like it's like that earthy. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, probably everybody's favorite, and it's so fun. It's one of my favorites. Lipstick, lip color. Is it yours? Uh, yes. Like it's definitely the funnest because I think there are like so many shades you can pick from and like match and mix and match. I'm not even kidding. Like Milani lip liners. I mean, as far as pigmentation and intensity, girl. Creme brulee. I will put it on. You will see. The lipstick. Milani Matte Confident. Ooh, number 67. Looks okay, last step in makeup. Setting sprays. Okay, so this one is the NYX Matte Finish uh, Setting Spray, Long Lasting. And this one works pretty darn good for a drugstore setting spray that if you noticed, I didn't mention. And this is my favorite. It's my baby. The clay and galeb and sebalta and eyeshadow. I don't feel like you need eyeshadow to start out learning about makeup. Remember when I did the bronzer on Meryl's eyeshadow crease? Sometimes that's all you need. 
And some women just want eyeliner and that's it, and mascara. But I am going to do eyeshadow on Omdi's face today just to amp up this look for YouTube. And I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Heat. Oh my God, stop right now. 